What's going on guys, Demolisher here, and today I'm going to bring you a quick tutorial on how to use your PS3 controller on your PC. It was by request of tech experts, a serenity broski, and honestly, it's probably a tutorial many people need. So I'm going to do this really quick, it shouldn't take much time to get this set up at all. What you're going to need is this um, Motion Joy DS3 tool um, program, I will put the link in the description below, and you just download it and install it. It'll set up the drivers and blah 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 when you install it. And you also need a PS3 controller wireless. I do not know how to set it up for wired because they do work differently but this is just for the wireless default 6-axis DualShock controller that comes with the PS3. Now once you've installed the software from the link that I'll put in the description you run the tool which is DS3 tool and assuming it's working, it's going to give you this error that says it's not plugged in. So click OK, and the program will load and we'll have to plug in the controller, obviously. Now for the sake of this, you're going to need a mini USB to USB 2.0 cable. The, the one that came with your controller to charge it in the PS3 will work fine. Um, or if you have a nicer one you want to use, or a longer one, because for example, this will probably not reach comfortably from my computer to where I want to game. So you'll want a long enough one that you can leave the controller plugged in and still game. So, you take your controller, and you simply plug in the USB, which I would think you knew how to do. But just in case you didn't, there you go. Make sure your controller stays off, and you might want to actually you might want to actually go ahead and turn off your like unplug your PS3 that way it doesn't um, come on when you whenever you unplug the controller because when you unplug the controller it'll turn the controller on like normal and turn on your PS3 so if you don't want that to happen you might want to unplug it or something and once you have the cord plugged into the PS3 controller you simply take the USB plug it into your computer herp -a -derp. this light will come on your USB sound will come on and if you have an update then you should probably update but I'm lazy and not gonna do that right now but once your USB indicator comes on um, then this should detect it see DualShock 3 6 axis USB and pretty much the main thing you wanna do is just set it to Xbox controller emulator and then I have custom lights to tell me that it's working which can be seen here and then you can set different options like um, well there's not there's not much you're gonna want to change I um, well I originally changed L1 and R1 to be or L1 and L2 and R1 and R2 to be backwards since PS3 normally uses the buttons instead of the triggers to shoot in like FPS and stuff but I'm not really gonna mess with you don't really have to mess with that um, and then honestly once you have all that set up you're good hit enable go back it'll detect it and then pretty much any game not any game that's not true but many games support um, the controller by default watch I'll show you here games like this one which is beat hazard through steam and other ones like darksiders and some first-person shooters automatically detect Xbox 360 controllers or your PS3 controller made to play as one and you can just use it automatically with game and it works fine so yeah here is it in an action. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope the tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Please take the time to like this video, and otherwise, have a nice day.